Hey everybody, I'm Philip, and we are back for video two of reaction stuff from BlizzConline. I did the first reaction to Diablo 4, and now I'm going to watch the new stuff from Shadowlands, what I assume will be 9.1, the patch, 9.1. I have been playing through Shadowlands on my Shaman. I got a late start on this expansion, but I'm slowly trying to catch up. I have played through the main lore. Now it's just a matter of rescuing people from Torghast. And I think I'm about to rescue either Anduin or Thrall next. So that's where I'm at. I haven't hit the uh, Twisting Corridors quite yet, but I'm looking forward to that, sort of. But I look forward to seeing what's coming in the new patch. So without further ado, let's get right into it and see what's going on in the realm of Warcraft. Look around you! What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? Enough! Join our cause or be made to serve. Right now, you hold all the power. Make your choice, Sylvanas Windrunner. Despite all our efforts, the Maw continues to grow. What if Denathrius' treachery is irreparable? Mm. The Primus is lost, and Bastion cannot save the Shadowlands alone. None of this should have happened. Perhaps the Winter Queen could... My Archon, a living soul, seeks an audience. A mortal. A king. By all our measures, one who has spent his life striving for justice. One who would give anything to serve his people. Mm. One whose heart is true. Very well. He may approach. Step forward. My ascended have spoken of you. The king held captive in the mall. That prison could not hold me forever. Why have you come to Bastion? You have a key that I need. You will release this soul from your grasp. No. He is bound to me. Just as you were sought to buy your own brother. a bit to unpack there i was worried there would be some spoilers since i'm not all the way through torghast yet and there kind of was but you know i set myself up for that i'm liking that we're finally seeing a glimmer of regret in sylvanas's eyes that's been my main complaint thus far in the lore is what they've turned her into she was my favorite favorite character and she's <laughs> not anymore 
uh, you know, just from the world tree to what she did with the horde to now this stuff. I'm like, is she going to be the next big bad in the expansion that we have to face in the end and we kill her and, you know, because that's pretty much the textbook formula now, um, you know, et cetera. So long live Vulgen, by the way, he was awesome. So Anduin becomes a vessel for the Jailer. I'm still not 100% sold on the Jailer being the main antagonist. I mean, I, I prefer that over Sylvanas, but even with her showing regret, how do you redeem her character? Like, what she's done is unforgivable. And she's done irreparable damage. And plus, as far as I know on the lore, Tyrande is still floating around. You know, she became the Night Warrior for a good reason, for a really good reason. And yeah, so it's very interesting, very interesting. Um, looks like the Jailer's chain has chains going out of the mall now. So that's very intriguing. Anduin was looking very Lich King there as well, just without the helmet, obviously, because it's been broken by Sylvanas. So interesting to see where they go with the lore in this one, which is, as I've said in other videos, it's the main reason I play Warcraft. One of the main reasons is also a very good uh, uh, distraction from being in pain. So I guess spoiler for me is we don't rescue Anduin from Torghast. We get Thrall out, maybe? But uh, I will just have to play farther into the expansion. Hopefully I can get through that part, through that part of the lore. That's my goal is to get caught up in the lore by time the next patch comes out. So I can just seamlessly go into the next stuff. Just that, that glimmer of regret, of, of sadness, because, you know, I think Sylvanas may not like Anduin or the Alliance or whatever. I think she's beyond, you know, those petty uh, squabbles now. Clearly, she abandoned the Horde. But uh, I think she had some respect for him. And I think that that respect made her disappointed in what he had become. Because uh, he had been, you know, he's always noble and always, you know, fighting the odds and whatnot. And he, he, he succumbed now and became something that he would never want to be. Yeah, I was not expecting the end to win heel turn. So there we go. Finally, someone not Horde <laughs> gets corrupted by something. <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. It has not been fun to be Horde for the last couple expansions. Very interested and very interesting to see where they're going with it. I hope they do a little more with the Jailer, but I also would appreciate if they stuck to one, one big bad for this expansion, rather than all of a sudden we have another old god at the end of this one shoehorned in out of nowhere. Like, eh. Last thing we need is like uh, BFA, where we had like four expansions worth of content just crammed into one and it just was yeah yeah nazoth and nyalotha could have been their own expansion by themselves and it would have been fine but we are not here to talk about that let's just hope that they don't do that let's hope that they have an actual game plan and a storyline from beginning to end this time because i didn't feel like it last time in my opinion at least but yeah that's going to end this video that pretty much takes care of blizzcon line as far as reactions go and um i know there was some stuff in diablo 2 but i never played diablo 2 i watched some friends play it back in the day but i myself never played it i didn't start diablo until diablo 3 it looks like a remaster so if you're into diablo 2 and played it I hope it's better than what they did with Warcraft 3, because holy crap, that was a nightmare. So uh, if you are into WoW like I am, if you're into the lore like I am, what did you think of this next installment of the lore of Shadowlands and overall in Warcraft? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I don't have a fancy outro, so I'll simply say thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Until then.